Welcome again uh, in my course Power Electronics Application in Power System. So, in previous three lectures, we, we uh, discuss the modeling of long power transmission lines. In particular, the derivation of the uh, voltage and current at any point of the line. Uh, the point can be measured from the sending end side or point can be measured from the receiving end side. Also, we develop the expressions of uh, sending end parameters in terms of receiving end parameters. Also, we will develop the relationship of uh, receiving end parameters that is receiving end voltage and current in terms of the sending end voltage and current. So, these things we have uh, done. So, in this particular lecture, we will derive the expression of power flow through the long transmission line. So, we will derive the expressions for power flow through long transmission lines. And the goal of this lecture is to determine to determine active power at sending end that is P s this is first then active power at receiving end that is P r then reactive power at sending end that is Q s and also this reactive power at receiving end that is q r. So, we will be determining the relations the mathematical expressions for this this sending end site active power, receiving end site active power, also sending end site reactive power and receiving end site reactive power. This we will derive from the voltage current relationship that we, we already derived in the last lecture. So, in particular this uh, this sending and voltage and receiving and uh, voltage relationship, right? So we we can write the relationship over here. That we know that this V R is equal to V S cos beta L minus J of I S Z C sin beta L. Okay. So, this is just uh, we derived in the last lecture. Similarly, we also know that V s is equal to V r cos beta l plus j i r z c sin beta l. This is we derived in the last to last lecture. Okay. From these two expression, we will derive the expression of active and reactive power on the both side. So, let us first derive the active and reactive power at sending end of long transmission. line. Okay. So, in order to derive that, we will consider that 
uh, the V s is equal to V s at an angle 0 that means, this is the reference voltage and V r is equal to V V r at an angle minus delta. So, that means, uh, with respect to sending and receiving and voltage is lagging with respect uh, to the sending and voltage at an angle delta. Okay. So, remember that this V s and V r are power phase voltage. Okay, we consider them to be power phase. In power system, uh, we, we often uh, represent a three phase power system by using a, a single line diagram. This is a well known practice. Uh, everybody knows who have uh, uh, done this basic power system course. And uh, in that particular uh, single line diagram, the voltage uh, at any point will represent the line to phase voltage. Okay. Now, uh, this this uh, with respect to this uh, we can find out the power fetch complex power at sending end which is equal to s of s is equal to V s I s conjugate. This is again it is discussed at the very uh, beginning of this course and this is also well known uh, uh, expression for determining the complex power when we represent this voltage and current in phasor domain, when we transform this voltage and current uh, uh, in phasor domain from the time domain. Okay. Now, we have the relationship of uh, this V s already we know that it is V s at an angle 0. Now, we, we can find out this I s from this relationship that as we know this V r is equal to V s cos beta l minus j I s z c sin beta l. So, we can write I s is equal to V s cos beta l minus V r divided by j z c sin beta l. This we can derive from this expression. Right? So, uh, if I bring this, this uh, component to other side that is left hand side and we bring V r from left hand side to right hand side and we divide it by z c sin beta l, we will arrive at this expression. So, we will put this expression over here. So, what we will get? Let us see. So, this is V s. Now, we can write this is as a V s at an angle 0 and I s is equal to this V s at an angle 0 that is cos beta l minus this is V r at an angle minus delta divided by j z c sin beta l and the conjugate of that. Okay. Now, we just know that this j is basically representing uh, a complex parameter which is if you convert it to polar form then it will represent uh, 1 at an angle 90 degree. Okay. So, if we consider so, so, that means 1 upon j is representing 1 at an angle minus 90 degree. So, considering so, we can write this as a V s. So, since this angle is 0, I am just ignoring it. So, it is V s cos beta l. So, at an angle minus 90 degree minus V r minus 90 degree minus delta. So, we consider 1 upon j is equal to 1 up minus 90 degree. So, this will be added to this. So, denominator we have z c sin beta l. Then this conjugate of this is basically 
this complex power. Now, uh, the conjugate of this means uh, when I put it minus 90, it will be plus 90, when it is minus 90 minus delta, it will be plus 90 plus delta. So, I can just write this as a V s square cos beta L at an angle 90 degree divided by z c sin beta L minus V s V r at an angle 90 plus delta divided by z c sin beta L. Okay. Now, these are in polar form. So, we have to convert it to Cartesian form, so that we can separate this real part and imaginary part from them. So, what we can do is, if we just uh, convert it to polar form, then what we get is uh, this cos 90 is 0. So, this will have only sin 90 part. So, this will be j v s square cos beta L divided by z c sin beta L this will have minus cos 90 plus delta. So, which will be cos 90 plus delta is sin delta. So, this will be equal to plus V s V r divided by z c sin beta L sin delta that is the real quantity minus this is sin 90 plus delta that will be cos delta. So, this will be j V s V r z c sin beta L cos delta. So, we can write by separating real part and imaginary part as V s V r z c sin beta L sin delta plus j of V square cos beta L minus this is V s V r, this is V s V r, V s V r cos delta divided by z c sin beta L. So, we get some real part and we get imaginary part. So, this is what the real part and this is what the imaginary part. As you know that real part of this complex part represents the real power or active power and imaginary part of the complex power represent uh, the uh, reactive power. So, we can write, but of course, this is determined per phase. So, what would be the three phase, uh, what would be the three phase active power expression? at sending and side this will be equal to p s is equal to 3 times of uh, the, the single phase active power. So, 3 times of uh, this v s v r divided by just the sin beta l multiplied by sin delta. So, this is equal to 3 times of v s v r divided by z c sin beta l sin delta, where this v s and i s are per phase quantities. Okay. Similarly, q s will be equal to 3 times of the expression that we get over here that is v square cos beta l minus v s v r cos delta and the denominator is same as the active power. So, this will be equal to 3 times of v s square cos beta l minus v s v r cos delta divided by z c sin beta l. Okay. All right. So, this is the expression of active and reactive power in the uh, at the sending end site, which we determine through uh, this voltage current relationship. Now, somebody uh, 
may say that we can uh, uh, consider this 3 inside this V s V r that is also possible. In that case, we can represent this P s as V s as line to line voltage which is root 3 times of this uh, per phase voltage. Similarly, V r line to line voltage divided by Z c sin beta L sin delta where this subscript L to L represent line to line voltage. And we know that from the, the three phase system the line to line voltage is root 3 times of the line to phase voltage. So, this equation is similar to this equation exactly same of this equation where V s and V r are considered to be per phase quantities. Okay. V s and V r V s and V r are per phase quantities. Okay. Similarly, uh, from this also we can write that this is equal to V s line to line square cos beta L minus V s line to line multiplied by V r line to line cos delta divided by Z c sin beta l. Okay. So, this is what we, we derived. Similarly, we can also derive the power fetch complex power at the receiving end of the line. Okay. So, similar to this we, we can write that uh, this S r which represents complex power is equal to V r phasor multiplied by I r phasor conjugate. Okay. Now, this I r phasor conjugate expression we will get from this voltage current relationship, this voltage current relationship that uh, we know that we know that uh, this V s is equal to V r cos beta L plus J I r Z c sin beta L. Right. So, we can write this is equal to V s is equal to V r cos beta L plus J I r Z c sin beta L. So, I r from this I r can be written as V s minus V r cos beta L divided by J Z c sin beta L. Now, if I put this V s and V r as V s at an angle 0 and V r at an angle minus delta. So, this expression will look like this cos beta L and this will represent Z c sin beta L at an angle 90 degree. So, if I put it uh, in the this at an angle 90 degree to the numerator. So, what we will get V s at an angle minus 90 degree minus V r at an angle minus delta minus 90 degree multiplied by cos beta L divided by Z c sin beta L. Okay. So, this we will put over here. So, what we will get? Let us see. So, this will be equal to, so V r will put its expression V r at an angle minus delta, I r is V s at an angle minus 90 minus V r at, at an angle minus 90 minus delta divided by Z c sin beta L. This will be multiplied with cos beta L and complex conjugate of this will be I r. Now, so uh, if we take the complex conjugate and multiply with this then what we get is 
this is equal to V R V S. So, complex conjugate of minus 90 will be plus 90, 90 minus delta divided by Z C sin beta L and this is minus V R square. So, minus delta and complex conjugate of this minus 90 plus minus delta will be uh, 90 plus delta. So, this will be equal to 90 cos beta L multiplied by Z C sin beta L. Now, this is in polar form. So, we have to convert it to uh, Cartesian form. So, what we get let us see. So, this will be the Cartesian form of this will be uh, V S V R divided by Z C sin beta L cos 90 minus delta which is sin delta. right? Similarly, the imaginary part would be plus J V S V R Z C sin beta L uh, sin 90 minus delta which is equal to cos delta minus in this site actually minus 90 is basically representing nothing but j that you can understand. So, this is j v r square cos beta l divided by z c sin beta l. Now, if you separate uh, this real part to imaginary part then what we will get that 3 fetch active power or real power at the receiving end side receiving end side will be equal to P r is equal to 3 times this V s V r divided by Z c sin beta L sin delta which is identical to this expression that is P s. So, which is equal to P s and of course, you can convert it to like this line to line form and Q R will represent 3 fetch Q R will be represent 3 times of V s V r cos delta minus V r square divided by Z c sin beta L. So, this is something different than uh, this Q s and one can convert it to again this line to line form uh, something like this 3 times of V s line to line. Okay. When you consider line to line it will be absorbed by this uh, uh, it will absorb this uh, 3 because you know line to line V s and multiplied by line to line V r will be root 3 time multiplied of root 3 times of this uh, single phase. So, 3 will be uh, absorbed by this line to line. So, this is V r line to line cos delta minus V r line to line square divided by Z c sin beta l. Okay. Okay. So, these are the expressions we are uh, trying to derive in this particular lecture and these expressions are very important to understand the uh, compensation of power transmission line, to understand the uh, rating requirement of the compensator that we need to place uh, at some part of a power transmission line and also uh, to understand the uh, effect or impact of this compensator placement on the power flow of a typical a uh, long power transmission line and these equations we will be revisiting again and again and these equations we will revisit again and again these equations are very important this P s Q s and P r and Q r we will revisit again and again in solving numerical problem in understanding the concept of this uh, compensation which will be discussed uh, through this power electronics compensator in the future uh, modules or future lectures and these are very important to understand. So, in this lecture we, we learned this uh, uh, power flow expressions 
of uh, the sending end site and receiving end sites uh, of a long power transmission line. We derive the expressions for active power or real power uh, at the sending end site. Also, we derive the expression of active power and reactive power of the receiving end site. And this, these uh, expressions are extremely useful in uh, determining the various concepts of power electronics compensators. Uh, and also this expression would be useful to understand the impact of this uh, compensator placement of, uh, on power transmission line and we will revisit again and again this expression. Okay. So, this is all about this power flow uh, expression derivations. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.